<laughs> I did it! I did it! Oh, this feeling! I'm back. I got it all back! This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. I think I'll keep it. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. <sighs> oh, but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. Remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? See that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. And the goddess of rainbows, too. That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. You met Mommy at this shrine, right? Okinomiyaki War. Iris Druid. She must have really enjoyed herself. 
She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. Every day? Hey, tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. But fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then? My answer is yes. So, you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... You got it? I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. I see. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, alright? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? 
Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? All right. Leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine because he's about to switch bodies. All right, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know, I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes, right? We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. You're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. 
Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. Huh? What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan! Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Did I do something wrong? No, don't tell me. This hour. Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. I'll make us some tea. You bastard! Right there. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. A 
Are we clear? Yes, yes sir! sir. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops' murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. What is it you want to talk about? That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. Do you have someone in mind? Ah, uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. Hey Saito, could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps... The police station? What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with the sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. 
I want to see it for myself. The prototype sync machine. Where is it? Chiba? You there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. All right, let's go. What are you doing? Follow him! You're... Saito Sejima? Hmm. I guess not. Uh huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? <sighs> just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. To where you belong. I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one, never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date.
The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Dante, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. Stop right there! <sighs> Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence, as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. So, your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. What are you doing? Follow him! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but... It was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital.
You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. No, wait! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. It was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but... Bastard got me. Take this. Do it! Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. Iris! Date, do you like fireworks? I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it! I can't get into my sense. And I can't get any help from Aiba. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect, beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it! What do I do? What do I do? Toria! Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa! I'm here to help! Wait, Mizuki! Did you find him? 
No! I can't find him anywhere! Where the hell is he? Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito. Kunko, it's really you, right? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Nuts. Date! Hitomi? Hitomi! Seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Date! You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? What will you do? Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. Aiba. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. However, there is another option. Huh? Self-destruct. Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that 
that data has all been deleted. I'm speaking to you using only verbal data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Nine. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Date, command! Two. One. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? We don't have a choice. I know. Command. Four, one, two, zero, five. Okay, Date. I... 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 I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Has Iba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco! It is you, Falco. Right? You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. <laughs> 